Everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Well, gee thanks for that, Einstein, but everyone knows that a genius is a person endowed with transcendent mental superiority. Or is it? To answer this question, let's take a look at two contradicting theories of intelligence. In the early 20th century, English psychologist Charles Spearman presented his theory of general intelligence, defining intelligence as the ability to learn from experience, solve problems, and use knowledge to adapt to new situations. He developed his theory based on psychometric investigations of intelligence quotient tests and other standardized intelligence tests. Spearman's theory states that a general intelligence, G, underlies all intelligent behavior, from taking a math test to climbing a tree, and that this general intelligence can be measured on a linear scale, ranging from smart to not so smart. American developmental psychologist and Harvard professor Howard Gardner takes a different approach to defining intelligence. In the mid-1980s, Gardner presented his revolutionary theory of multiple intelligences, saying that intelligence is a biophysical potential to process information that can be activated in a cultural setting to solve problems or create products that are of value in a culture. His theory almost completely contradicted Spearman's ideas by suggesting that intelligence does not manifest itself in one form, but in many distinct, independent parts. Gardner composed a list of criteria to consider a certain ability a form of intelligence, and from that criteria he derived a list of seven, or eight, or okay, a growing list of intelligences that he has identified so far. The first is linguistic intelligence, or the ability to use language to express and appreciate complex meanings. Linguistic intelligence presents itself in essays, speeches, daily crossword puzzles, and through word smart people like Harper Lee, Shakespeare, and J.K. Rowling. Logical mathematical intelligence includes the ability to calculate, quantify, consider propositions and hypotheses, and carry out complex mathematical operations. Number smart people like Albert Einstein, Florence Nightingale, and Carl Sagan can analyze abstract relationships and symbolic thought and might enjoy strategy games and number puzzles. Bodily kinesthetic intelligence encompasses a wide variety of talents, involving the capacity to manipulate objects and use a variety of physical skills, a sense of timing, and the perfection of a mind-body union. Body smart people include Charlie Chaplin, Tim Tebow, and Michael Jordan. Musical intelligence covers the capacity to discern pitch, rhythm, timbre, and tone. Music smart people like Mozart, Elvis Presley, and Madonna have the ability to recognize, create, reproduce, and reflect on music through experiencing a deep connection between music and emotion. Spatial intelligence is the ability to think in three dimensions. Picture smart people like Picasso, Da Vinci, and Van Gogh think in images and may enjoy solving jigsaw puzzles, doodling, or daydreaming. Interpersonal intelligence is the ability to understand and interact effectively with others, to note distinctions among people, to recognize the moods and temperaments of others, and to entertain multiple perspectives. Because they are naturally skilled at communicating, those who are people smart, like Gandhi and Oprah Winfrey, are often leaders among their peers. Intrapersonal intelligence is the ability to understand oneself and one's thoughts and feelings, and to use such knowledge in planning and directing one's life, which involves not only an appreciation of the self, but also of the human condition. Self-smart people like Plato, Helen Keller, and Bill Gates are very aware of their own feelings and very self-motivated. Naturalist intelligence designates the human ability to discriminate among living things as well as sensitivity to other features of the natural world. Nature smart people like Charles Darwin and Jane Goodall serve as botanists, chefs, and farmers because they can easily categorize things in their environment. Finally, existential intelligence is the sensitivity and capacity to tackle deep questions about human existence. Spiritually smart people like Pope Francis have a philosophic love of learning and a much higher level of mental comprehension. Unfortunately, both theories have their flaws. While Spearman claims that intelligence comes in only one form, even he admits that some people occasionally display more well-developed abilities in certain areas. On the other hand, Gardner claims that each individual intelligence is completely separate from all the others, but studies show that that isn't exactly how the brain works. These results have led psychologists to create a new model for intelligence, one that encompasses both theories. 
In this hierarchical model, a general intelligence does underlie all intelligent activities, but it feeds into distinct separate abilities. So the human mind may be too complex to divide into eight or nine or any distinct number of intelligences, but the range of human abilities is undeniably too complex to be categorized into one general form of intelligence. So instead of placing so much emphasis on taking tests or climbing a tree, grow in your own intelligence and go take a nice long swim.